The Mon Bap Osiris is one of my favorite wavetable oscillators, so much so that I agreed to create a wave pack for it. To do this, I sampled different modules and patches in my big studio modular synthesizer, had a lot of fun creating different banks of waves with different themes, but I also did something a bit different with the y-axis compared to other wave banks you'll find in different Eurorack wavetable oscillators. I moved to a higher pitch here. I turned down the modulation for now, Turn down the x-axis. Let's go through the banks so I can describe the different sounds to you. The first bank is what I call my East Coast Bank. It's based around the idea of how could I mangle the waveforms normally associated with an analog VCO. The first few waves are based on audio rate crossfading, where I go between two different waves modulated by a third wave at audio rates. For this, I use the SSF0 oscillator quite a bit, but I also use the WMD SSF Spectrum and a happy nerding X-Fade. Then I move into some of my favorite sounds from one of my favorite analog oscillators, the Livewire AFG. This thing has some interesting, what it calls animated pulses and alien sawtooth waves that to me are just so much fatter and richer than your typical saw and square. And then finally we go back to some more crossfaded waveforms. And mixed in there are also a couple filtered waves. So a good, typical, fat, harmonic rich wave set. And when possible I try to start with a warm sine wave. The second bank I call my West Coast Bank. I really should call it my Surge Bank since it's heavily based on random source surge modules. The first set of the bank is based around their wave multipliers module. I start with the rectifier using a different triangle or sine waves through it. Then I move on to their wave folder section. Again, I use triangle and sine waves. I tended to use the warm sine wave from a verbose harmonic oscillator. I also use different combinations of the first and second or first and third sine waves just to get some different source material into the wave folder. Then we move into using the surge resin equalizer. I used sawtooth waves and square waves and tweaked the different bands of the resin EQ to taste. Creates some nice nasally format type sounds. And here I like to have that bass where I can. So different sets of harmonics for you there. The third bank is what I call the formant bank. I love formant filters and I love vocalish sounds. The first half is a sawtooth wave through the Lima Flow Moto Mouth digital format filter. And it really emphasizes and focuses on vowel sounds. I did a little hand tweaking some of the harmonics too on this one. The second half of the X waves in the formant set focus on a couple traditional triple bandpass filters, such as different waveforms, particularly sawtooth waves, through the three sisters by mannequins, and then through the rare waves Grendel. And I tweaked the band's taste to create these different sounds. So good for vocalish sounds. The fourth bank is probably the most varied. I call this my harmonics bank because I played with different ways of emphasizing different harmonics. I started by using a tube VCA and overdriving it, starting with just a warm sine wave to begin with, then using different combinations of different sine waves, again, first and second, first and third harmonics, triangle waves, sawtooth waves, etc., through tube overdrive with ever increasing saturation. getting nastier and nastier. Then I move into a set of filtered banks. I took, again, different sawtooth and square waves, embedded through a Behringer recreation of the classic Moog modular filter bank, as well as the Fraptools Fumana improvement on the Buchla spectral processor. Then we move into different additive oscillators. 
First, we run into the Verbus Harmonic Oscillator, an analog additive. And again, I'm hand tweaking harmonics to get sounds I like. And then we move on to a digital additive oscillator, the Chaos Tools Odessa. Again, it has quite a different sound. It's much better at high harmonics compared to the Verbos, which limits you to the first eight harmonics. So you can hear what those waveforms sound like along the x-axis, which is the main timbre variation. But I did something different with the y-axis. Most Eurorack wavetable oscillators just put different waveforms on the y-axis as well, so you get timbre changes in y in addition to x. But as some of you know, I was involved in the development of the Prophet VS, and one thing that makes it special is that each of its four corner oscillators can be tuned differently from each other. So as you crossfade between different waves, you can also crossfade between different tunings. Now, you can't turn a normal oscillator into four oscillators, but what I could do with the y-axis was sample different harmonics of my source waveforms. So after I get a waveform that I like, let's go to one of the formats because they were kind of fun. I recorded the fundamental note, but then I recorded the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and eighth harmonics, since those created nice musical intervals. The first is the fundamental, the second, is one octave up. The third harmonic is an octave and a fifth. The fourth harmonic is two octaves up. The fifth harmonic is two octaves and a third. The sixth harmonic is two octaves and a perfect fifth. And finally, the eighth harmonic is three octaves up. So this allows you to have different ways of changing the relative tuning of this oscillator while you're playing. For example, I've patched the mod wheel from a keyboard controller here. So I can make it a performance controller. It's really fun if you go ahead and bring in another oscillator that's tuned in unison with the Osiris. Because that's where you really get to hear the musical intervals. So you can patch mod wheel, aftertouch, Ribbon controllers, I like to use the velocity channel from a sequencer to go ahead and vary that. But there's other tricks you can do as well. I like to randomly change what that interval is. So we're going to go ahead and move my mod CV to take the sample hold output. Turn the sample hold down all the way to begin with. Focus and just do Osiris for now. Set up an arpeggiator. And right now let's just play one note. That's one note being repeated over and over again. You can hear it as I envelope the filter. But as I bring up the sample and hold, it's going to change what interval we're hearing played for every trigger of the arpeggiator. Bring the filter down, make that more musical. Bring up my unison oscillator so I can hear those intervals better. That's just one note. If we set up an actual arpeggio with a few different notes, you hear how that gets much more interesting compared to just a straight sequence. Get all these different intervals poking out. I can go back and increase my X modulation too if I want. So the waveform's also crossfading around. also create some interesting drones. I'll go back to my low note here. And I'm going to take my modulation output from another random wave inside the 512QVL. And now you hear its interval slowly changing. I'll remove that unison oscillator. So you can set up interesting drones that way as well. 
Anyway, I had a lot of fun creating these waves. I use the Osiris regularly in both my live setup and in my studio setup, including taking advantage of these alternate tunings out of the Y-axis. And I hope that you have fun with these waves too. The Wave Pack is available through a mod map and have fun.